living in hell. Everything you do is for that addiction. Once you start using drugs, you're lost. As I was at the point, I just had gave up because I, there was nothing I could do. The Division of Addiction Research and Treatment is at the forefront of responding to Maryland's rapidly escalating opioid epidemic. Overdose rates have doubled, uh, tripled, even quadrupled over the last 10 years in Maryland, and Maryland has been disproportionately impacted by the epidemic. We've been facing the addiction, opioid addiction epidemic kind of head on, not just for a few years, but for, for um, a couple of, gen a few generations now. Anything you could think of, you would do it to get high. With the introduction of fentanyl, the opioid epidemic transformed to an even greater health crisis, with numbers of deaths soaring precipitously. What's really tipped the balance throughout the country and the state is an influx of really potent synthetic opioids, mostly fentanyl. People that think that they're using marijuana and they're overdosing on fentanyl. Fentanyl, they're putting it in the crack, they're putting it in the, the marijuana, everything. Using evidence-based medication-assisted treatment in combination with psychosocial treatment, the division has developed and implemented a number of innovative programs. Did you have any intention at that time of getting help for your... Yeah, I wanted help, but nobody would take me because I didn't have insurance at the time. We set up a substance abuse consultation service, which is a multidisciplinary team, including addiction psychiatrists, to help all areas of the hospital address their patients' substance abuse issues. It's a truly unique service in that we are a multidisciplinary team that um, responds to consults throughout the hospital. And so effectively, we are treating substance use disorders in the context of acute medical illness. Right now, the division is probably meeting clients in every um, context every medical context. Through multiple outpatient treatment programs, the division offers medication-assisted treatment, counseling, and other support services. I met Gregory in our outpatient addiction treatment services. It's called OATS. It's one of our three outpatient addiction treatment programs in our division. It saved my life with the medication. Educating medical school students, residents, and clinicians is implemented on multiple fronts. What we typically have here in Maryland, and really most of the East, is powder heroin. We work with third-year clerkship students and fourth-year elective students at the medical school. We also train our psychiatry interns, and we also have our own fellowship program. Even though the division is small, I think we have probably an outsized role in um, exposing uh, medical trainees to kind of the important aspects of the field. In 2015, the division launched a new initiative to increase access to medication-assisted treatment in underserved rural areas through telemedicine video conferencing. Our telemedicine program and providing treatment to rural uh, counties in um, Maryland is also really highly valued by the state. and We've gotten support from them, and this is another area where we're way ahead of the uh, nation. I had a possession charge for methamphetamines. How do you think the medication has worked for you? Since I started taking it, everything has gotten better. With a close relationship with state partners, the division is looked to for leadership to make an impact in developing policy and successful treatment initiatives. They trust and depend on us to help come up with in innovative initiatives to move things along. Figure out policy issues, but also we're actually providing direct patient care to other parts of the state. The willingness to, to pursue and take the effort to explore new programming, that's what truly really makes this, uh, this program unique. The rewards of and first and foremost are seeing patients do well. Patients with addiction disorders that get better really truly can live a full and meaningful life. Fewer than 20% of uh, people who need treatment for opioid use disorders have gotten connected to care. So um, there's a lot of work to be done. So watching them work hard for what they want gives me inspiration to work even harder for them. It helped me, I'd never thought that I'd be sitting there saying I've been clean for almost two years.